I'm doing a series of these video blogs following up on a, a special report to the Legislative Assembly I recently released on the lack of capacity within the Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of Natural Resources to do their jobs. By capacity, I mean the, the money, the people, and the expertise necessary to actually do what we expect those ministries to do. In the back of that report, there are a number of case studies, and I wanted to talk about the second one uh, t today. Uh, it's about uh, the problem with our sewage treatment plants in Ontario. Well, the sewage treatment plants are, are regulated by the Ministry of Environment, and there's a little, you know, they're big polluters potentially, so there's a lot to do. They're, the Ministry of Environment has to approve everything that's built and happens at the sewage treatment plant. They set the standards and the, that have to be achieved and to protect the environment. Uh, they have to inspect and monitor those plants, and, and they have to sort of look at the whole system to make sure that uh, uh, the cumulative effect of, of things are, or things bad things aren't happening in the environment generally because of what's coming out of the sewage plants. These are all areas of their responsibility. We've looked at the situation closely and we're here at the Environmental Commissioner's Office, we're very concerned that, that some of these responsibilities are not being met. There's a couple of areas that particularly have uh, drawn our concern. You know, one is the basic policy of the Ministry of Environment, a rigid policy, is that all municipal sewage should be treated what they call secondary standards. Uh, primary standards, primary treatment, is just basically screening the lumps. The secondary treatment, they use a biological, cultivate a biological slurry of organisms that actually consume what's in sewage, and, uh, and that's the essence of the treatment. But secondary treatment is supposed to be the norm. That's the acceptable level. Yet, after all these years in Ontario, we still have a number of, of cities in this, in this province that only have primary treatment. And really, we don't find that there's any excuse for that. Another kind of problem is, uh, has to do with sewer use bylaws. What are those? Well, municipalities, of course, you know, have commercial buildings, industrial facilities, other things using the sewers just beside, besides our households. And other things go down the sewers than just what we expect to go down the sewers. Industrial waste, chemicals, all sorts of things. And to control that, the Ministry of Environment has a policy that says that municipalities must have sewer use bylaws, laws that regulate what goes in the sewer from, say, a uh, commercial or an industrial facility. And this is critical because the sewage plants aren't just, they're designed to treat human sewage. They're not designed to treat a lot of the chemicals that come from industries. Well, in fact, it's the Ministry of Environment's policy that municipalities have that, but there are still many municipalities that don't have sewer, uh, sewer use bylaws in Ontario. And we don't know why that is, because that's surely a key part of environmental protection. Another area that related to this is something called com combined sewer overflows. What are those? Well, in cities with older cores, it, things that were built up many years ago, uh, there, weren't in, there weren't two streams of sewer. You know, say in a modern uh, section of the city here, uh, there's the street sewers that just take rainwater and run off. That's what we call it stormwater. And then there's what we call sanitary sewers, that coming from the toilets and facilities within the buildings. They're separated. But in some of the older parts of cities, they're still combined. There was only one sewer. And as a result of those, uh, when rainstorms occur and all sorts of water is flushing down, often essentially what is the mixture of the raw sewage from the houses and the, the rainwater discharges, overwhelms the systems, and pours out through special outlets into the environment. And that's a combined sewer overflow. Big problem. And we were supposed to have that problem solved. We've been supposedly working on it for many years. The Ministry of the Environment requ requires municipalities that have these situations to, to have a pollution control plan targeted at combined sewer overflows. At least that's the policy. But in fact, if we look at it, about 40% of the municipalities that need those kinds of policies don't have them. And again, why not? There's a related problem, something similar, but and that's just we call it, call it a sewer, bu sewer bypass, and that's uh, when a, a sewage plant is near its capacity and ex water gets in through leaking into the pipes or perhaps some storm water gets into the sanitary system, whatever, when the system is pushed to the limit, too much water comes down. Sometimes these municipalities simply open a bypass and shoot the raw sewage right into the lake or river because it, otherwise it would be too much fluid for the, for the, the plant and would cause great problems in the plant. So that's called a bypass, raw sewage going straight in the river, a little bit diluted, sometimes they chlorinate it a bit, but the point is it's not something we want normally happening. And in fact, that's, it should only happen in emergency situations, that's the policy. But in fact, it happens much more frequently than that. And again, why is that happening? Well, 
the reason that we've looked at is that we feel that, uh, that there aren't enough people in the Ministry of Environment to do the job. There isn't enough expertise left because the people and the expertise has been cut over the years. And the, so the capacity is not there to, to do a proper job. They're just, it's not the people, the people in the Ministry of Environment doing the best they can. But there's not, not, of them, not enough of them and there's not enough expertise left in the Ministry to, to make sure the job is done right. That's a big problem. In fact, uh, something as simple as recording the, the performance of sewage plants. You know, we have 450 or so sewage plants in the province. How are they performing? And we went after that information. We found that the most recent information, the most recent report on, on just what sewage plants are doing is, is dated 1993 because the ministry admits it doesn't have the capacity, the people and the money and expertise to, to produce more up-to-date data. So we don't really even know uh, the, the total situation that's happening in our sewage plants. But certainly I think that at this point in time, the Ontario people feel, with, you know, we, with our wealth and our society and our kind of organization and civilization, we shouldn't be pumping raw sewage into our lakes and rivers. And it should be a priority. And if the ministry needs some more resources to achieve that end, why don't we give them to them?